No experience or not, Lamar Jackson better be ready because, gentlemen, it is going to be cold in Buffalo on Saturday. Now, Lamar Jackson just got his first career playoff win, now looking to get number two, but going to have to do it against an impressive Buffalo Bills team. So, Stephen A., what do you think? It's going to be cold. You think Lamar is going to thrive or is he going to struggle? I, 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 I want to hear Buffalo? from Max first on this. Max, I want you to help me out here. I want, I, forgive me. I want you to go first on this one. I want to hear what you have to say about this. For sure. Uh, I think he's more likely to thrive. And, and I have two reasons. One's from the head, one's from the heart. From the head, I think that I think for so long we're waiting to kind of fit everybody into this mold. And to set up the run, you have to be able to pass the ball. And come playoff time, if you're not a great pocket passer, you can be exposed and, and all of that. And I think what, what, what we – I don't think it's impossible that a guy can win a Super Bowl playing as Lamar Jackson has normally played. I think he can do it. And, and, and that's, that's from what I've seen Lamar do. He's beaten a lot of good teams. My question was, could he beat teams when the light shined the brightest? Not could he beat teams as the kind of player he was. You know, he beat Seattle. He beat a whole bunch of teams. Some of them were good defenses at one point, Stephen A. Remember, other than the Chiefs and the playoffs – he was something like 21-1 and one against the rest of the league in all other games, right? But the Chiefs, that's a game you have to win the playoffs, a game you have to win the Roethlisberger Steelers, who he lost against in his only matchup against Roethlisberger. That's a game you have to win if you're the Ravens. He loses those games. Can he win when the pressure's on? And I've seen him do it. And, 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 and that leads to kind of from the heart thing. I, I think Lamar Jackson galvanizes a team. I think players like to play with him and, and, and have fun playing with him and want to support him. You see it the way that his teammates speak about him. They like him. They want to do well for him and with him. And when you look at Lamar's trajectory, first playoff performance, god-awful. He's very young. I mean, Lamar is still very young, but he was terrible in the first half. He was much better in the second half, but still not good enough. And his next playoff performance, the following year, last year against Tennessee, he was much better than he was even in the second half of his first playoff performance. Still not quite up to his standards, but much, much better. And now he just won his first playoff game against that same team that had beaten him. And he did it by coming through in high leverage moments, including passing the ball, but especially running the ball. I think the fact that we can see now, and I think the Ravens can also see, yes, we can win playoff games the same way we re win regular season games. Lamar doesn't have to be forced to be something he's not. He has to make some key throws at times. That goes for any quarterback. But we can win playing the style we normally play with. I think buoys them, and whether or not they win the game, I think Lamar will thrive. I watched the Buffalo Bills this year surrender 245 yards rushing to the Kansas City Chiefs. I watched them give up 188 one game and 145 another game against the New England Patriots, who primarily are about running the football. So they are susceptible uh, to succumbing to the run. The Los Angeles Rams ran for 167 yards against them. I see all of that. I'm not worried about the cold. What I would tell you is that if there's snow on that ground, and it compromises your ability to gain traction and to run with that football, Lamar Jackson could be in some trouble. He could struggle. First of all, you got to remember, they've got the worst passing attack in football, okay? But they got the number one rushing attack. And the reason the Baltimore Ravens have the number one rushing attack is because of Lamar Jackson and his ability to run with the football, along with J.K. Dobbins and those boys. The point that I'm making is if you're compromised – um, in terms of your ability to run the football with traction. You, you got to remember how elusive, how evasive he is. It's not just speed. It's his elusivity. That's really, really what comes to play. And when I think about the inclement weather, I'm not thinking about cold because he's played in cold before. I'm thinking about snow turning in the ice and slippery spots on that football field, Max. And if that's the case, it's not just something that could compromise the defense. It's something that could compromise him running the football. So we got to be mindful of that. I anticipate that if there is snow on the ground and if the running ability is compromised in any way, 
Lamar Jackson is going to struggle. I don't think I would be saying this if the weather was going to be beautiful and what have you, because obviously that wouldn't be an issue. And as a result, I think that Lamar Jackson would just simply make plays with his feet as opposed to standing in the pocket like he did midway through the season and just absorbing sacks, as he eloquently stated. I don't see that happening, but I do think that the inclement weather, we've seen what conditions can get like in Buffalo in December and January throughout history, throughout NFL history oh. watching games in Buffalo. It's no joke up there, okay, in, in, in Buffalo, New York. I think this could be a problem for Lamar, and that's what I'm worried about. Well, let me – let me answer those the points you're making specifically. I gave you general points about Lamar, the trajectory of, his, of how he does in these kind of games and belief in him and all that. You're bringing up how inclement weather can affect the running game. I would bet more that it slows down defenders to the point where it makes it harder for them to catch up with Lamar. In other words, it has a proportional, a proportional effect on the defenders who haven't been great against the run, as you pointed out than the fastest land mammal, Lamar Jackson, right? I, so, so that's one. And the other thing is the Ravens have been hot recently. They've won a whole bunch of games, throwing seven games in a row, and that's coincided with the weather, weather getting colder. You know, and so at, some of those have been in warm weather locations. But I wouldn't simply dismiss um, Lamar's ability to affect the game with his legs because it, it's, it could snow or it's cold. And then finally, Stephen A., even in, against Tennessee, when Lamar had to make throws, he made some key throws. You don't have to be the greatest passer in the world, um, but if you can come through when you, they need you to come through. And I've seen Lamar do that under pressure this year. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.